In this video, we unbox and review this crazy wheeling and donutting petrol psychopath. Do you want to get rich quick? Then buy a lottery ticket and hope for the best. If you want to get rich for sure, you have to provide either a product or service of value. I've spent the past 10 years of my life trying many different ways of making money online. And by far, the quickest and easiest way that I have found is by selling on eBay. I make over $100,000 every single year by selling simple items like this. And I've helped hundreds of people make thousands of dollars every single month. So if you want more money so you can buy more toys, buy a nice house, or quit that dreaded nine till five, then click the link down below and I'll show you how. Guys, in this video, we got a new toy to unbox. Are you ready guys? Drum roll. Oh, it's green. So wheel nuts are loose, other than that, all professionally unboxed. So here we got the car, the wheels need tightening up, but what you get in the box is the car, the wing, instructions, toolkit, radio, but you do need to supply your own four AA batteries and also you need to supply your own battery to go inside the car, there's not a battery in there. So we're gonna have to open this up and have a look to see what battery actually have to go in there. But check it out guys, that looks sick. All right, let's attach the wing. All right, so yeah, no battery. I've just taken the receiver cover off and it doesn't come with a battery. Uh, I don't actually have a battery for it, so I'm gonna have to pinch it out of this one here for now. And while we've got this one out, let's do a quick size comparison. So as you can see, this Baja here is a little bit longer, but not actually by that much. So at a first look, they almost look exactly the same. If you look at the suspension, it's got the same shocks, it's got the same arms, and then coming around the rear, same shocks again, same drive shafts, same arms, even the exhaust pipe looks a bit exactly the same, but this one here has got an added wheelie bar, and it's actually got this metal bumper that's added on top of here, because these things are supposed to sort of wheelie everywhere. So that one there, guys, is dirt cheap. This one, uh, not so much, but I'm gonna put a link to both of these cars down below anyway. But for this video, we're gonna focus on the shorty. All right, so I've just pinched a battery out of this Baja, and now we're gonna fit it into this one. This is just like a regular Baja battery with a Tamiya connector on there so you can charge. So we're gonna shove it in. Thing worth noting, guys, to get into this box, I had to take off the air filter, and the air filter is dry. So you probably wanna put some air filter oil onto that to protect the engine. I haven't got any. Uh, so I'm going to put some nitro fuel on there. Not really sure if that's what you're meant to do or not, but I've done it before. And a professional racer told me to do it like that as well. So, yeah, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. All right, so there's probably going to be some experts in the comment section telling me I'm doing it all wrong. But, oh well. Absorb. Absorb. Oh, look at that. It's going in. All right, so we got the air filter back on. So before we put all the body panels on, let's have a quick look at the car. So you can see where they've got the added space from by making this shorter is that they've taken the tank away from the center of the car and then they've put it up here. I've seen a couple of people leave some comments saying it's a bit close to the exhaust pipe there, but I've done some research online and I've not heard of anybody having any issues. But if we have issues, then we will know and Pat's gonna be there laughing. All right, so we're almost ready to go. We've got the body panels back on now. So all I've got to do is charge up the battery. We've got to put in a bit of fuel and then we're gonna take it out for a blast. So let's have a quick montage first. All right, so guys, I've got the battery in there. I've put the Tamiya connector poking out of here like it is on the, on the longer Baja. But, look, you can't connect anything on there to charge it up. So I'm gonna have to take it apart again and probably have this cable maybe poking out of here somewhere or poking out of there. All right, so I've just rewired it. I've taken it out of here. I've had to take it all apart again. And now I've got this charge cable coming out of here. So now we can charge it up. So we're gonna give this a little while to charge up and then we're gonna go out and give it a blast. All charged up, so now 
We need to put in a little bit of juice, so we'll just put the old two stroke in there, so we've got to give it a little. <laughs> All right, we're on location. We're in the middle of nowhere. So we should hopefully not be upsetting anyone because these things are loud. So the size-wise compared to an X-Max, while that's here, let's have a little look. Yeah, so we're looking at about the same wheelbase, probably about the same width. That one's definitely a lot heavier though. Turn it on, bump and bump. And now that should start. I've got to remember to run it in. So remind me guys. Ooh. Oh, bit more prime. A little bit more of a prime. Oh, I let that run in then. <laughs> yeah, alright, so I'm not gonna turn you off. We're gonna run it in a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna put you back on, but this is how loud it is. Oh god, she's obnoxious. And anybody got any ear defenders? Beat and heat them. Yeah. Kev? Yeah, it's running. Yeah, it's We've been running. running it for about five minutes. Yeah, I thought that, yeah. <laughs> oh, the X-Max is probably not safe there, is it? Nah, let's move it. <laughs> Maxine! Okay. Where are you going? Rolling start. So we accelerate slowly, get to the tree, accelerate. Yeah, yeah. all right, we're right. going up. Yeah. Is so loud. Okay. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Tumble one. Da 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 Back at the shop, had a quick look over it, and everything looks perfect, no damage. Even though we didn't really go that hard on it, just the first run, running it in, giving it a little blast. So there's definitely going to be more videos coming up of this. All right, so which one do I recommend, the shorty or the full-size one? Well, they're both a lot of fun. I mean, this one is a little bit easier to drive. The tyre seems to dig in a little bit better on the dirt. 
and the nose stays down more. Whilst this one here, being shorter, it, it pops wheelies a lot more and it's a little bit more nimble. Now, if the price was exactly the same, I would say it depends what you want to go for. If you want to go more for stability or if you want to go more for chucking it around. But this one here is almost double the price of this one. I'm not going to say what the price is because the price does fluctuate depending what country you're on and the price does change from time to time. So I'm going to put a link to both of these down below. I mean, personally, if I was going to buy this with my own money, I would probably go for this one. Just...